Hi Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I am going to be doing your September 1st to the 15th, 2019. That's 2019 money and career reading for you. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting out. And I like to start each reading with an attitude of gratitude. So I want to thank you so very much, whether you're new or old to this channel, for tuning in and stopping by. It's an absolute pleasure having you here. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. It will also have the link to the cards that I use. All right, let's see now, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what September 1st to the 15th, 2019 has in store for you for money and career. Virgo, September 1st to the 15th, 2019, money and career. Virgo, September 1st to the 15th, 2019, money and career. Virgo, September 1st to the 15th, 2019, money and career. Virgo, September 1st to the 15th, 2019, money and career. Virgo, September 1st to the 15th, 2019, money and career. Virgo. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Fantastic. That is where spirit wants me to stop. Virgo, you're looking at the future. You're looking at the days, the weeks, the months, the years to come. And that's at your heart here with the two of wands. You're crowned with the ten of swords, doubts and fears. As the universe opens up to you. The Ten of Wands is a completion of a cycle since you now have two tens here. You're definitely completing cycles moving forward. You're at a crossroads and you need to turn inward to see where it is that you want to be. You have a repeat of the number two. This is about your creativity, but this is also about, about where you stand, what you want. You have the lovers right here, so this can be a Gemini energy, a... Yeah, a Gemini energy, a time frame of May 21st to June 20th. This can also be a lover in your life that is helping you with your career or who is actually, for some of you Virgos, who's putting a lot of weight on your shoulders, all right? It's going to be one extreme or the other here, but this is also embracing what it is that you love and moving forward in your truth. You have a Leo right here, opening doors, moving you forward, strength, prosperity, what you desire really coming to pass. Everything is changing now. You have now you have three tens right here. Three of cups. This is a a sense of somebody that you trusted betraying you. It can very well be this Gemini or this Leo. Yeah, because you have the Leo connecting to the ten. Here, there's a choice that needs to be made. And then you have the Ace of Cups. This is God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, handing you a gift of healing, beautiful love to move you forward in prosperity and abundance. Know that there can be tears with this. As you're set free, as your soul is cleansed, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Virgo, September 1st to the 15th, 2019. Virgo, show me clearly, show me clearly. This one right here. Patience. And compassion. Having compassion for yourself is going to be very important as you embrace your patience. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Virgo, September 1st to the 15th, 2019. Meditation. I've already shuffled and meditated upon the cards, so when they pop out like that, it's really good. Clarity. Meditation will bring you clarity. Have, while you meditate, have patience with yourself. And I don't mean that you have to sit there and go all out and have a meditation room or a meditation hut or anything like that, like some people do. They get really intense into it, and that's brilliant. But you don't have to do that. You can do things simply and in moderation. And if you're starting in meditation, close your eyes for 30 seconds and focus on your breathing. Just breathe or listen to your heartbeat. But the breath is easier. There is going to be something that you can do during the first half of September that is going to increase your productivity. It is going to help center you, which is going to help you make more money. But when you feel yourself becoming overwhelmed, stop, step back, breathe deeply, close your eyes for 30 seconds, just breathe. If you can't do for 30 seconds, five breaths, 
five deep breaths in and out. And you'll find yourself to be a lot more centered, a lot, a lot calmer, okay? And a lot more focused. It's going to bring clarity into your life. So we start here with meditation. And it says, meditation will transport you to a place of bliss at any desired time of day. Just by doing that simple exercise. Five deep breaths in. I know there's a lot to be done. I know there are a lot of people who have demands on you, Virgo. And you might not have the luxury of sitting quietly for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes or longer. So 30 seconds or five deep breaths. Give yourself that. Give yourself that. And I know at the end of the day, you don't want to sit and you don't want to meditate because you'll probably fall asleep. Give yourself the 30 seconds. Give yourself the five deep breaths. It will make a difference. The color that shines through here is purple. Healing and cleansing the crown chakra is going to be very beneficial for you. Then we have clarity. Clearing your mind brings you closer to your sacred inner truth. Clear your mind and connect with your soul. The color that shines through here is orange. That's healing and cleansing your sacral chakra. It's going to help let go of a lot of negativity from this life and from past lives. Then we have patience. Read each moment with an endurance and presence of mind. Be patient with yourself and be present with yourself. That's going to be very, very, very important for you. And when I say be present with yourself... I know at your heart you're looking at the future, and a part of you is also caught in the past. So being present in this moment, in the moments that you have, in the way that you want to move forward, in the way that you want your soul to be, is going to be highly important because your future can steal your, steal your life. You could always be looking at the future and saying, one day, one day, one day. And the past, it can also steal your life because you're living in memories. So the present is going to be very, very important, and that's why patience here is very important to you. Having patience with yourself as you embrace each moment. Compassion. By widening your circle of compassion for all nature's creatures, your spirit will soar. Do not limit your compassion to only a certain group of people, only a certain you know, type of people, only you know, people in your office who are higher up than you or something like that. No, broaden it to everyone and then also broaden it to the whole entire earth. Live in compassion. And if you can manage living in compassion for five minutes every day, just in heartfelt understanding and kindness to people, that is going, and people, animals, the earth that you walk on, that is going to be highly, highly, highly beneficial to you. You'll actually see that it recharges you. It rejuvenates you. Because at your heart, you're looking at the future. Okay? At the heart, you're looking at what you love and your determination and you're seeing your gifts moving you forward, Virgo, and you're thinking, yes. But your future, as I said before, can steal away your present. Make sure that while you're planning the days, the weeks, the months, the years to come, that you're not missing the now. Because there is somebody here with the Three of Cups. This is pain. This is hurt. This is aggravation. This is somebody who betrayed you. Now, I read the cards intuitively. I don't read the cards just from what a book says. So if this res doesn't resonate with you, either it doesn't resonate and don't mind this part, or you know there is a reader out there who will resonate with you. But right here, right now, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing somebody who is somebody that you trusted, somebody that you cared about, somebody that you thought had your back, and then they wind up betraying you. That's how I see the Three of Cups. And... This is being illuminated, and it can be illuminated because a lot of what you thought you wanted, Virgo, in your career, in your life, you're starting to look at and question. You're starting to look at and say, is this really where I want to stand? Or is this really what I want to do? You're, you're being very introspective right now because you're looking at your future and you're saying, I want more. Because here, you feel caged. You feel overwhelmed. It might be a very nice cage that you are in, but it still feels as if you are in a cage. Now, it can be with your ambition. It can be with people that you trusted, okay? And it can be that you feel caged and overwhelmed because you're looking at your future and you know that there are endless possibilities out there. You know that you can be anything and that's absolutely terrifying. I know that that sounds silly, but it is the truth. Your thoughts are going to get the better of you at times. You're going to overthink, overanalyze, and just feel as if you can't do it. This is the darkness before the dawn. 
This is the doubts, the fears, the worries, the torrential rain before the sun comes through and the rainbow comes. Give yourself time. Give yourself time to feel your emotions and to sit there and recognize that it's not the end of the world. And give yourself time to know your truth. Because here your life is doing a 180. And when I say know your truth and we're talking about money and we're talking about career, I am seeing that there is a shift going in your career. It doesn't mean you have to switch jobs. It can be in just simply your consciousness and the way you're looking at your career. You're looking at the place that you want to be because life is doing a 180. And as it does a 180, you start seeing things differently. As it does a 180, you start seeing doors open to you that you thought were closed. You start looking at your future and seeing your passion come back, seeing what it is that you love. And for some of you, you've given up on that. Actually, for a lot of you, Virgos, you've given up on that. You thought things had to be a certain way. You thought things had to be in a certain box, in a certain place of understanding. Now doors are opening. But as doors open, you have to be very careful about who you trust. Right? When it comes to your career, especially, there is going to be somebody out there who thinks that they know best. And I'm seeing it as this Leo energy. It can also be a Gemini energy right here because this one does connect also. They both connect with the Three of Cups right there. So be mindful of a Gemini. Be mindful of a Leo. Also be mindful of somebody who you feel too passionate about too quickly. As I said before, there can be a lover involved in, in work relationships. And this can wind up getting very, very sticky for some of you. So be very, very careful about business arrangements that turn into partnerships, okay, that turn into romantic partnerships or romantic partnerships that turn into business arrangements. Make sure you're looking at the future correctly as you do that, Make, making sure that you're grounded, stable, that you understand because things can get, yeah, things can get sticky, right? You're going to find unlikely allies most definitely, but here you're looking, not looking, well, you have to look inward because you're at a crossroads. And as you're at this crossroads, you're going to see that wisdom guides you as you have stillness come in. And that can be where the meditation comes, the clarity of mind. Now, you have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is God's source spirit, however you see the divine the universe, handing you a gift of healing, beautiful love. I don't have you taking it yet, though it's permeating the root of this reading. It's permeating the crossroads that you're at. You want to feel more than just as if you just as if you went to work. You want to have a fulfillment. Now, you might find at this crossroads that the job that you have has good benefits, it has good pay, and now you're going to look at a hobby that you can have that becomes something, that becomes fulfillment within your life, okay? The job is the job, the hobby is the joy. For others of you, you don't want that. You want joy within your life. You want to go to work and love what it is that you do. And that's why you're looking at the future. Be very careful with whom you trust as you are moving forward towards this goal because there is going to be somebody who you think has your back, but they don't. You think that they're going to be right there with you in the trenches, and they won't. So be very careful who you trust. This is also, if you don't want to start your own business or you're not looking for anything like that, this is also saying in business deals, as you're looking towards the future, long plans, long term, and it doesn't have to be too, too long term. It can just be something that will take a couple of days or, yeah, a couple of days or longer is what I'm seeing here. But this is saying that the person is going to say one thing, you're going to think they're one way, and then you're going to find out that they're not. They are completely different. The arrangement does a 180 and you feel trapped in something you didn't sign up for. You will have an unlikely ally that helps set you free. It can very well be that this situation is the unlikely ally that shows you that you can handle a lot more than you thought because you're putting up with this person's nonsense right here. With the lover's card. This is a Gemini energy and we have the Ten of Wands. What you love has been weighing on your shoulders. Okay, This is what you want to create within your business. This is the way that you want to move forward. Here with the lovers, there is a sense of you, your angels blessing you. You're going through a transformation. You're having somebody in your life who balances things. Okay, You're also, if it's not somebody within your life who balances things, you're going to have somebody, not somebody, there's a duality of your nature 
where it almost feels as if there's two people here, kind of like a Gemini. Gemini has many different personalities coming in, emotions, thoughts, ideas, and that's going to be kind of you, Virgo. That's actually not going to be kind of you. That's going to be you, Virgo, during these 10 days, 10 days, 15 days. There we go. If we're doing the September 1st to the 15th reading here. So this is saying that you have to embrace your passions because if you keep on carrying them with you, you're just going to feel bogged down, bogged down, bogged down until you feel as if you can't move forward, until you feel as if the hopes and dreams that you have for your future are never going to come to fruition, are never going to come to pass. So here, with the Ten of Wands, do not carry other people's burdens for, for them, even if you love them, okay? Even, and it doesn't have to be romantic love, it could be friendship love, you know, even if you really care about them, you cannot take their burdens from them. They have to figure out their own lessons, and they have to live their own life. It's an astoundingly hard thing to do, especially if, as you are a Vir Virgo, you're a person who likes to take care of things. You like to take care of people, you like to take care of animals, you like to, you are that, that healer, that nurturer, right? And so here, you're going to have a very strong compulsion to help somebody out, to take on extra loads, to ease theirs. You can't do it. Well, you can do it. You, you definitely can. But you will not be happy if you do do it. You have someone who either has betrayed you in the past, that's influencing the way that you're looking at your future and your present. And this you need to heal from because you're going to see avenues start to open up once you heal and the weight of the world that you've been carrying like Atlas on your shoulders dissipate. You need to embrace a healing to move you forward. God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, is handing it to you when it comes to your career, when it comes to your passion, when it comes to where it is that you want to be. This is a game changer for your work for your career, for your hobbies, for your passions, for your desires on this earthly realm. Now, the strength card is a Leo energy. This is a time frame of July 23rd to August 22nd. You are moving forward. You have a ferocity of spirit here. You have unlikely allies guiding you, and you have yourself going towards your goals. Do not negate people just because you don't think that they could help you or you think that it would be weakness to ask for help. I'm not seeing this person so much as a Leo, though it could be. I'm seeing this person, and, and it very well could be a Leo here, helping you with your future. There's also a sense of a Leo here who is, is keeping you caged in, in something that you don't want. And you're at a crossroads with a Gemini. You are looking at what you desire, what you want. And it can also be your duality of personality here. Yeah, because you have twos grounding you, and then you have the Gemini represented by the twins. So there's something more that you want that you're going to need to look at. You're going to need to see the ways that your, your life veer off, okay? The ways that your desires, your hopes, your dreams veer, and how to have them come together. Because this is all about balancing more. This is, yeah, balancing more, looking towards the future, looking at, looking at attaining, hold on a minute, let me listen to spirit. Looking at obtaining something greater in the now, okay? And breaking the cage that you feel as if you have been in for quite some time. Now, the strength that moves you forward, it can very well be a Leo energy that helps you break through this. It can also, as I said before, very well be, for some of you, because this is a general reading, be a Leo energy that makes you feel caged and trapped and overwhelmed. So it's going to be different for each and every one of you, but it's an impor important energy, just like this one is. You move forward and you start to see here that as you move forward with unlikely allies, the, the way that you had had yourself defined, the cage that you have had yourself in, starts to break free. And I love that these cards kind of, they resemble each other, but they're so different because here it's trapped, it's overwhelmed, it's your emotions being too much, this is what's crowning you. And then here, you become this incorporeal being, you're not even limited by the body. You become this incorporeal being of snow and of air who's set free. The sky is the limit. You can achieve more than you ever thought possible. Why? Because the game is changing and you're taking back your power. Your subconscious message? Knight of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Moving forward in your passion. This is also Wands for me, our career. Moving forward in your passion. Your breath is going to be taken away by the impact that your career has on you, that your, your passion, your desires have on your life, 
and how the hard work that you have put into things really does pay off, right? You keep on moving forward and you're going after what it is that you want and where it is that you want to be. All right, Virgo, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness, and may harmony always be with you. Bye.